Hey guys, Mike here and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do a bit of a test of the Action 2's microphone. Now this is just using the microphone on the Action 2. Now I've got the power module and the power module just comes with the battery. Whereas the dual screen module, on the dual screen module it comes with three extra microphones built in. So combined with the one microphone on the Action 2 camera itself, you get a four microphone matrix system going on. However, that's not what we're testing today. We're just testing the single microphone on the Action 2 camera module. Because I reckon most of the time when I'm using it, I'll probably have this in my pocket and then I'll um, whip the camera out every now and again and do some just some quick vlogging, some quick comments, something like that. And for that, I'll be using just the camera module so I just want to know what the um, what the audio is like just using the camera module um, on the Action 2. So as you can see I'm um, driving around at the moment I've got the Action 2 mounted on a Joby suction cup just on my windscreen so it's probably about maybe a foot and a half away from my mouth um, you've got the uh, the truck noise um, going on as well Again, this is not a luxury vehicle, although it's a very nice truck. Um, but it's not super quiet. So whatever sound we can hear um, is, you know, probably the loudest you'll get. Um, if you've got a nice flash car, it's all very soundproofed and padded, you'll get a better result than this. But worst case scenario, this is what it will sound like um, in your vehicle. I've also got Horizon Steady on. So that'll help any bumps and shakes, um, just to take um, take those out of the, the video as well. So audio test one, this is just me talking normally, like I'd talk to somebody sitting in the passenger seat. And um, this is what the audio sounds like on the Action 2 with just the, the one microphone on the camera module itself. Okay, so I'm standing outside now. I've got the camera on um, just like a little GoPro shorty little selfie stick just held it holding it out in front maybe um, maybe a foot from my mouth and um, I'm sheltered by the truck at the moment it is a bit of a breezy day but this is just me standing outside uh, just talking normally I'll walk around in a second once this uh, car's gone past and I don't look like such a dodgy doofus alrighty so it's extended now um, walking around so again this is what the um, this is what the audio will sound like just from the microphone on the camera module unit and uh, it is a bit of a breezy day it's coming across from behind the microphone at the moment I'll turn around and now the wind or the breeze is sort of coming into the microphone there there's no way to protect these microphones from the wind um, I think one of the cool things will be in the future when the DJI mic is available you can plug it directly into either the power module or the dual screen module and of course uh, that allows you to have a wireless transmitter on you that will have a wind protector if you need it and that will wirelessly um, send the, the audio back to uh, back to the camera and the recording device which is, uh, which is great. Again this is me outside I can feel the breeze on me now so um, it's probably a reasonable little breeze so it'll be very interesting to see what the audio will be like and again this is just the audio off the one microphone that's on the camera unit so just walking around looking like a right numpty but hey you got to do these things in the interests of the channel don't you these people over there that are looking at me well I don't know them and I'll probably never see them again unless I bump into them in the supermarket just down the road in a couple of days and they go hey you were walking around in that car park what were you doing time to go I reckon so overall I have to say that I'm pleasantly surprised by the performance of the single microphone of the main Action 2 camera unit even outside in breezy conditions, I thought it picked up my voice pretty well. Obviously when you're inside a building or a car, when you're not affected by the chance of any wind or breeze, the result is actually pretty good. 
Now the main camera unit is waterproof, therefore the single microphone must have some form of waterproofing in it. So considering that, the audio you get out of it is actually not too bad. Now however, given that it is an action camera, its primary use would be outdoors, so some form of wind protection would be good. Although looking at the tiny hole on the main camera unit that's actually the microphone, I'm not sure how you do that. The same goes for the dual screen unit. This comes with three microphones, all of which would also be pretty hard, I'd imagine, to add any form of wind protection to them. Back on the sound quality, I recently watched this video from Aldrin Astacio from the Flight Path YouTube channel, where he does an audio comparison between the GoPro Hero 9, the DJI Action 2, and the Insta360 GO 2. For this test, he used a dual screen combo, which, as I said earlier, has three microphones, and when added to the main camera unit, enables what DJI call four mic matrix stereo. And we have the new Osmo Action 2. This has four microphones. The GoPro has three microphones. How does the audio sound on the Osmo Action 2? Now, after doing my tests, I'm actually even more impressed with the single microphone on the main camera unit because I couldn't really tell much difference between the single mic unit I used in my tests and the four microphones in Aldrin's test. Now, having said that, whilst I'm pretty impressed with the audio from the Action 2, it is still an action camera, and action cameras in general don't produce amazing audio in general. So whilst it's fine for quick vlogging comments on the go, it's probably not good enough to do longer vlogs or using it as your main vlogging camera audio. Now, there is light at the end of the tunnel, and that's with the introduction of the DJI mic system. Now, this system uses the smart adapter switching technology that DJI introduced with the DJI Pocket and allows different plugs to be swapped in and out depending on the device that you're attaching the wireless microphone transmitter to. You can see all about the DJI mic system in this video, however, you're going to have to wait a bit because at the time of making this particular video, they've said that the DJI mic system isn't available for general shipping until mid-January 2022. However, check out the video so you can see all about it and decide if it's something that'll work for you. Cheers, guys.